In this video, we'll talk about the five designs of clay roofing tiles. This video is important if you are about to install a new roof for your house. The five are the Mangalo, the Portuguese, the Brosley, the Sleep, and the Spanish clay roofing tile designs. It's important to mention that these are the names given by Kenya Clay Products, which is a leading brick and clay roofing tile company in Kenya. I've provided contacts in the description section of this video. With that, I'm Nick Moema from Property Norma. Okay, let's start off with the first design, the Mangalo tile. It has a flat design with two depressed troughs that channel water once it drains. Looking at the dimensions of this style, the length is 410 millimeters, the width is 250 millimeters, and the height is 20 millimeters. As for the weight, the Mangalo tile weighs in at around 3 kilograms. To cover a square meter, you will need 14 pieces of this tile, and the cost of each tile is 53 shillings. The second design is called the Portuguese tile. Looking at this drawing, you can see a short section of the tile is flat, while the rest is an inverted U-shaped dome. The dimensions are 410 millimeters in length, 250 millimeters in width, and 70 millimeters in height. It also weighs at around 3 kilograms, just like the Mangalo tile. And it also needs the same amount of pieces per square meter, like the Mangalo tile, which is 14 pieces. The cost per tile of the Portuguese design is 55 shillings. Next, the third design is called the Brosley tile. Looking at it from the top, it looks flat. But when you look at it from an angle, like in this drawing, you can see it has a slight bend. The Brosley tile is best suitable for low pitched roofs. The dimensions are 260 millimeters in length, 150 millimeters in width, and 25 millimeters in height. A single Brosley tile weighs one kilogram, which is lighter than the other two designs we've looked at. Now, because of the shorter dimensions, you will need many many more pieces to cover a square meter which in this case is 60 pieces per square meter a single brusley tile costs 16 shillings the fourth design is called the slip tile here we can see it has two shapes on its design on the left we have a half pentagon design and on the right side of the tile we have a half rectangular shape The dimensions are 250 millimeters in length, 180 millimeters in width, and 50 millimeters in height. A single slip tile weighs 1.2 kilograms, and you will need 25 pieces to cover a square meter. The cost of one is 15 shillings per tile. The fifth and final design is called 
the Spanish tile. It has an inverted U-shaped dome design. The dimensions are 430 millimeters in length, 190 millimeters in width, and 85 millimeters in height. A single Spanish tile weighs 2 kilograms, and to cover a square meter, you will need 30 pieces. As for the price, a single Spanish tile costs 21 shillings. Let's look at two important accessories you will need with clay roofing tiles. The first accessory is called the ridge. You'll need this accessory at the top of your roof where two tiles will meet. Its job is to act as a transition between one opposing face of your roof and the other one. The dimensions are 400 millimeters in length, 220 millimeters in width, and 100 millimeters in height. For a square meter, you will need three pieces and a single ridge costs 75 shillings. The second accessory you will need are iron sheets. Iron sheets are installed for two reasons. One, to prevent rainwater from seeping into your house during a storm. And two, to act as a security barrier. You see, when these tiles are installed, there's nothing preventing someone with bad intentions from entering into your house. Adding iron sheets will add that security measure to prevent people from removing tiles and breaking and entering into your home. Something else, if you're going to use slip tiles for your roof, it's important to note that only box profile iron sheets are suitable. That's because of the design of slip tiles. They match that of box profile iron sheets. Are there any limitations of using clay roofing tiles? Well, I can think of three. One, these tiles are heavy once you install every single one for your roof. That means you'll need to add more timber trusses or steel trusses to support the weight of these tiles. Two, they are expensive. Also, there's an element of double cost because you'll need to add iron sheets before you can erect them on your roof. The third disadvantage is their brittle nature. When they fall, they can easily break meaning you'll have to incur more costs to replace them. Despite those disadvantages, clay roofing tiles remain popular in Kenya because they add that elegant appeal to your property. Also, if you like the Mediterranean feel for your home, you can use clay roofing tiles to achieve that effect. I hope you liked the video and found something useful from it. Please leave a like to help the video reach more people. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.